So in this example, we're asked to use symmetry to evaluate this particular graph. Well, in order to do it, I recognize that this is asking for area. So let's go and find uh, what the graph looks like. So when I have this scenario here, I'm asked to use symmetry. Well, if I break up this graph, so that I'm looking basically for the signed area between negative 1 and positive 1. And when I do that, I know that these values are the same, except they're exactly opposite. And so they will cancel each other because this is a positive area, this is a negative area. So this is equal to 0. If the question would have been using symmetry, uh, find the area enclosed uh, between the x-axis and the and the graph between negative 1 and 1. Well, what I could have also done to make life easier, I could have done, if I want to find the area, I could have went 2 times 0 to 1 of x cubed dx. And then I would just find this area and multiply it times 2. So if I finish that off, I can clearly see that this is going to be, I add 1 to the exponent, it's going to be 1 quarter from 0 to 1, and it's going to be 2. I plug the 1 in, I get 1 quarter, the zero cancels away and it's going to be one half. So this is a quarter and this is a quarter. Together they add up to one half. So recognize the difference between area enclosed and the actual definite integral scenario here. And symmetry helps us simplify the process.